Alright, so I'm going to explain to you guys exactly why lead pellets are better than steel pellets. And in this video, I'm actually not going to show you lead pellets and steel pellets. These are 177 um, lead hollow points. I shot them out of my Gamma Big Cat 1250 at about 1,000 feet per second. As you can see, they went not too far into this plywood. Pretty decent for a low scale pellet gun, but none of them actually, actually like uh, went through. These holes are from a 22LR rimfire. And as you can see, those ones are a bit bigger. I'll show you the exits. And these are shotgun slugs. <laughs> and uh, you might be saying, um, why the heck are you showing me shotguns and 22s when we're talking about pellet guns? Well, it's very simple. All of these shotgun slugs, 22s, and the pellets were all going at about the same speed around between 1,000 and 1,200 feet per second. That being said, um, the one ounce shotgun slug weighs just a bit more <laughs> than these lead pellets. And so, I'll show you guys the back side too. This has been shot up a lot more by the pellets. These are the tw where the 22 came out and the shotgun slugs. So, as you can clearly see, the heavier the pellet or bullet is, the more damage it's going to do. It's just, it's simple physics. So, when you buy steel pellets that are, say, 4.7 grains, um, they won't have the same knockdown power as, say, a JSB exact that's, like, 10.36 grains. And even though it is going at a slower velocity, I mean, same speed as these... Look at the difference. <laughs> same with the 22s. They're all going at the same speed. It's simply different weight. And of course, there's different diameter and a few other things. But the main thing is heavier, lighter. Heavier, lighter. So hopefully you guys get the picture. If you have any questions about this, you can send me a message or comment on this video. Thanks, guys.